Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Darcy. This is my podcast. I'm Darcy. He's not Darcy. He's Chris. Yes. Welcome to the podcast. It's the unnamed podcast. What do we do, Chris? We talk rubbish for a... About, we aim for an hour. Just... We talk rubbish for a... Yeah, about a time. Yeah, um, we never succeed today, on getting an hour. No, today we're going to, we're going fast. It's going to be about an hour. You know why it's going to be about an hour? Oh, because we, we have got to do. fucking shit to do. We ain't got time to fuck around. Which is challenging for me because that's what 90% of my life is. Um, I mean, you're not wrong on that one. Yeah. So, uh, welcome back to the podcast. I'm Darcy. Darcy. Him. Him. Chris. Yeah. Not Darcy. Darcy. Uh, my show is... So, apparently that one video where... You were, Chris. Chris. <laughs> we don't have time to fuck around, Chris. We don't have time to fuck around. Um, welcome back to the show. Uh, if you have been if previously, hello. <laughs> You're getting lost there. I've got shit to do. Um, <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Uh, we'll start things the way we always do. Uh, we'll talk about some channel news. Um, I'm going to admit I haven't looked at what's happened this week. Neither have I. And you've uploaded the stuff. Uh, I uploaded it all Sunday night because I was prepared for once. Oh, um, nice. That's uh, it's a shocker. Yeah, I know. It's kind of uh, unusual for me. Mm. Uh, but I was prepared, so I uploaded everything, so I actually haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> we have subscribers. A number. What's that number, you ask? Exactly. Last I heard, it was 26. I heard, was... I meant red. Yes. Last. That was last week. Uh, videos that came out this week, uh, we had the first part of Spyro. Um, oh, yes. Very nice. Yep, yep. Uh, Chris is going to want to look at that because I make fun of him in it. Um, and I do like Spyro. You do like Spyro. Two good And reasons. the other one that came out was Smash Bros. Um, oh, yes. Again, uh, Chris is just brutally mean to me, which is unnecessary because I'm such a nice guy. Wait, um, wait, wait, me? You're brutally mean to you. Brutally mean. What did I say? Well, at one point you just start killing the shit out of me and you just got me pinned in a corner killing the <laughs> shit out of me. Um, and there's nothing I can do about it because I'm literally stuck in a... And uh, I'm, I'm, fr- I'm frozen in place. Oh, oh you've, you've, you've stun locked me, and I can't do anything <laughs> about it. And I'm already playing the worst character possibly in the game. And you've stun locked me in a corner and just keep smacking me. And I'm just like, it, it's a good like solid twenty seconds of me just being stun locked. I'm gonna have to find this because that that sounds funny. I don't remember it. Yeah, Jaden eventually came to save me. Um, so that's what's coming out this week. Um, other things that's happening with the channel last week we talked about the discord that hasn't happened yet because this week's been a bit all over the place for me um no. how so oh it's just i i'm back at work and i don't oh, really yeah. know anything about what's going on at the moment because i haven't received anything from my boss to be like hey so you can plan your life around work that'd be nice but you know how be hence the prepared on sunday mm-hmm. very smart um, other things that are happening channel wise um, so Discord and Patreon we're looking at um, always constantly um, our snow trip video is sort of coming together I think I have everything that I need to actually start editing I just have to now put it all in order yes. that's a scary concept it'll um, be rough it is um, I have started recording. Hey, look at that. Got a, got a few voice. things to figure out oh, to, that's right, to yeah. start. Um, yeah. Oh, that's right. The big thing that's weighing on my mind and why we don't have time to fuck around that's coming up is Halloween is literally a week and a half away. And after all of our talk about being prepared for it. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. The, the Halloween week, yeah. We're not. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> So it, so we kind of have to do a fuck ton tonight so that we can then spend the next week and a half just focusing on the Halloween stuff. And then my life can go back to some semblance of normality. Oh, that should be fun. I enjoy fucking around. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> um, something else is that tomorrow I'm going to be trying out something new and improved and not improved because Ooh. it's new and I have no way of knowing if it's going to work or not. But hey, okay. it'll be interesting and all the same. Um, Ooh, so it? stay tuned for that. Just stay tuned. Uh, okay. You're not allowed, no, Chris. Oh, what the Hang on, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, uh, just like in most things revolving the channel, um, just to clarify this, me and Chris are not partners. This is an employer-employee type of situation. 
So he knows nothing. Well, and it's, that's it's more of employer and um, intern. Ah, it's I mean, more of guy and voluntary assistant. At the moment, <laughs> yes. Okay, let's, not, let's not pretend I'm employing anyone. Yeah, yes. yeah. Fair point, fair point. I'll give you that. But when we do, Chris, I'll be expecting your resume to look sharp. <laughs> um, you know what I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there's all, all of that. All of that's all of that. Surprise, surprise. Um, there was something else I was going to add. Oh, yeah, so yeah, so tomorrow, looking at doing something new. If it works, then I guess I'm going to have fun adapting it to other situations to see if it works in other situations. It probably won't. Okay. Yay. Um, but if it does Bing. work, it's going to be a piece of new content that has yet to be seen on the channel on the channel the channel I'm glad this is very vague because it's got me intrigued as well I hope you are as well you should be intrigued um, because either it's going to work flawlessly and be good or it's not going to do that it's going to do the exact opposite of that and it's going to be bad um, and if it's bad are well, you trying it tomorrow I think I know I may know what it is forget everything you ever heard okay in fact probably better that you don't know because then I don't have to kill you. Eh, well, if it's I only bringing it quicker. I'll <laughs> kill you anyway. <laughs> yeah. Just for the satisfaction. Um, yeah, okay. Would. I think that covers about everything Channel News. Uh, Channel News was news. Um, yes, of course. Are there any new subscribers? I don't know. I'm sorry. Shall I check? We know we're very lazy. You know I'm very lazy. Um, I, I don't think. Yeah. Whilst it does and doesn't matter at the same time simultaneously in Sympatico. True, true. I'll give um, you that. Yes, it matters. Yes, we love you all. Please stay. Um, Please. But right now, in this very second, when I've got fucking shit to do... No, no, no okay. No, fair, fair. i got shit to do. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> I did that a lot. That hurt my shoulder. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, uh, Halloween stuff. We've got a lot of stuff to do so that we can then focus on that. Yes. And boy, do we need to focus on that. Although the plus side oh, uh, with yes. Halloween... So there will be roughly seven videos, six videos, I think. Six. Um, okay. Because technically, we will be starting our Halloween week on the Tuesday. Ah, okay. Why the so Tuesday? there will be uh, because Halloween is literally the Tuesday, Tuesday of the week after. Oh, okay. So, so just going a week. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So it's in. So the Monday of the week of the twenty fourth. Yes. Will be normal. Well, oh, without the spooky, spooky undertone, that, that was a bit weird. Ooh, but that's what's spooky about it. Oh, okay. Uh, normal. Uh, and then the Tuesday through Friday, which is four days. See, I did the maths. He had to use his fingers. Well, that's because I was already, they were already there. I mean, I suppose I'll give you that. Four days will be spooky Halloween. Yep. And then the Monday and the Tuesday after that will also be. And that's why I get six from six. All right, fair enough. Makes sense. I'm not sure it does, because we all know that a week is seven days. Yet, yeah, if you actually do my maths properly, even if we added the weekend, which we're not, because I'm not insane, <laughs> um, I need that time to do the work on the two videos. Yeah, see, this is great, because of the weekend in between, yeah, we can actually save the two videos for the last and not do them until the week of oh, everything else. Yeah, that makes sense. Gives okay. us more time. Gives us more time. I love more time. Um, yeah. Even if you add the two weekend days, which we're not, Okay, yes, yeah. That's eight. Tuesday Tuesday is eight days. Oh, it is. There's no way that it equals seven. No. And yet, we know it's seven days. Well, it's generally because we're actually going... <laughs> it's a weird world we live in. It's, it's technically, the week is the Tuesday to the Monday. It's not... Well, it's not Tuesday to Monday, but it's... Oh, I'm sorry. Did, uh, did I ask your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't, but I was given it anyway. <laughs> you that's why. Um, yeah, so I think that just about covers channel news. Um, please stay up to date if you care about the uh, Discord. I will. I'm. Tr I'll probably try and look at that over the next couple of days uh, to get that up and running. Um, but yes, do understand that even if I do get that up and running, it probably won't be fully up and running um, until after Halloween because yeah, it's kind of stressful for me. Yeah. 
Um, although, as as I said last week, we are looking at Discord because then both me and Chris can have equal access to it. Um, hey, Dan, it becomes a lot easier for me to check comments and, and, and read it, or reply it, to it them. It takes a little bit of everything off my shoulders. Yes. Um, and even though I have such large shoulders, um, they get tired. Yeah. No, I can understand that one. Yeah. Um, okay, awesome. So, um... I think that wraps up channel news. I think so. Um, so I figure before like we go into the random rubbish that we generally talk about, I would actually keep yes. us on topic Ooh. to start off today. Shocker. Um, because so I don't know if you've been paying much attention, Chris. Probably not. You are you and useless. I wouldn't say useless, just uh, I don't pay attention to a lot at the moment. I might get back to a point where I do. Um, Modern Warfare 3 is betas out for consoles and coming out for PCs. Because that later. one I just hadn't cared about. Yeah, no, I don't <laughs> care about it either. Yeah, because, yeah, like, am I going to buy it? Is it going to be different? Yeah. Well, let me tell you. Oh, so okay. I did some research. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I came prepared for once. Oh. <laughs> I have two dot points here. That's about it. <laughs> oh, it's more prepared than me. <laughs> um, okay, so basically here's what we know about Modern Warfare 3. First of all, yes, it's made by Sledgehammer. Okay, yeah. Now, I don't know if you feel the same way I feel about Sledgehammer, but they are by far probably the most disappointing of all the makers of Call of Duty. Um, Which ones did they do? World War Two. Okay, yep. Yeah. Is it just the one? Or is it another um, one you I'm can't remember? trying to think if they did infinite warfare give me a second i'm going to quickly google which ones they have done but needless to say I you're wasn't considering the two that you you're possibly thinking anyway are the two that i also haven't played so then again i haven't really played a lot of sludge i played games. some black ops okay here we go it. let's go oh, okay, what wow. have we got yeah it's not a good cv okay, okay we've got call of duty world war Two. okay now hey, look it was okay. Um, the multiplayer was terrible. Never played the multiplayer and played story. Okay, the story was fine because it was a World War Two story, and they actually brought in some elements that I really liked. Okay, like health kits and stuff like that. Oh, I do remember. So make kits. it a little bit more interesting, more realistic. True. Yes. Uh, but then oh. the uh, then the uh, multiplayer was full of crap. Like, oh yeah, just get the holographic side and put it on your fucking gun, son. Which doesn't make sense. But... What? Yeah, okay. It's World War Two, motherfucker. Why, you know what sights you get? Why would you no make sites. that decision, you weird? Because no, no, um, I, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't blame them for making that decision. I blame okay. Activision for that decision. Because Activision were like, okay, fair enough. people like the modern games with modularity. And it's like, yeah, because they're modern guns with modularity. Yes. It's kind of how the army does it these days. It but you know what they did with guns back in the day? Here is your gun. Use it. Don't lose it. I guess some bullets as well. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're Russian. Hey. Then you get bullets but no gun. Um, oh, that's, yeah, that's a, yeah. That's a, that may be a lie. It's probably a lie, but it could also not be. Um, during World War II, Russia did have some supply issues. Okay, so it has some evidence to back it up. Um, Tiny bit. Okay, they also made Call of Duty Vanguard, which was also saying. I did War hear II. that wasn't good. Yeah, it was terrible. Um, I really blame Vanguard for the start of the whole super bad operator stuff uh, so modern warfare one was technically the first with operators instead of looks for players yes um instead of being like you're this team or that team right they had operators however i will say this to my dying breath about modern warfare one when you played as operators you went oh i'm this operator that's it I know what team each of the operators on. Because okay, there yeah. weren't fucking thousands of them. True. And they didn't have like, oh, well, you see, yeah, well, this 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 guy here, his colour is the same as your colour, and his helmet and look is almost exactly the same, but you've got a yellow knee pad on. <laughs> knee pad. Great. Right. How good Fuck is me. that? It's um, waste so of time. Vanguard was the first to bring in operators, but it's probably its biggest fuck up. And it Probably. was a fuck up. Was uh, you weren't the Allies or the Nazis in World War Two. You were just an operator you picked. No, no. You were your team and the enemy team 
Because you wouldn't want to be the bad guys, would you? No, no, no. You're the enemy team. Oh, uh, so yeah, okay, fair, fair. Why oh, is the enemy really. team full of Nazis? Well, they're just the enemy. Uh, it also had uh, oh, it also wow. had multitudes of non-finished stuff in it, like oh, okay. uh, reused animations and everything that they were charging premium prices for oh. all, of, all of the classic stuff fantastic just just um, the best stuff so there. vanguard was a mess not yeah. a good game uh so they but also I made play. advanced warfare from 2014 it's another one i didn't play that was the exosuit ones that's I the one witness jordan playing it briefly that's where the meme comes from which meme f for respect f for respect Way to go, Sledgehammer. Okay, I'm nailing it. Oh, See, that's man. a joke. Yeah, I know. I said the name Sledgehammer. I said nailing it. Oh, God damn it. Uh, they also made. Also, if you're using a Sledgehammer, if you Modern know, now, you've got a problem. Warfare 3, that's the new one. That's the one they're oh, currently okay, working right. on. Wait, is, did they originally do. Is this the old one? This says 2011. But then they've got a picture of the modern one. I that's, don't know. That's really stupid. I'm fairly sure the old one was made by Infinity Ward. Uh, I'm fairly certain because I don't remember playing anything by Sledgehammer well, except for what, World War 2 but the new one's made by Sledgehammer and we know that it was originally just going to be some story DLC for number 2 Okay. but then Activision did what Activision do which is apparently throw all good sense to the wind for some money and went hey you know that little story edition you're working on for the game that came out like 2 years ago last year did it come out last year I think it might have come out last year I think so Shit. sounds right yeah you know that little beast you yeah. turn it into a fucking full game you fools I did didn't it money and so yeah there's that um, so that was that That in itself is a whole problem right? yeah. because any game that's a DLC and then made into a full game is going to have corners cut oh of course it is and uh, Sledgehammer have shown in the past Especially you know, I don't wanna, I, they I'm not attacking the people at Sledgehammer I'm sure they're very professional at what they do and they want to give us the best product but it hasn't shown the past shows that they do cut corners and sometimes that leads to terrible bugs and <sighs> terrible money spending opportunities for look, look, us the you're giving me more reasons not to buy it yeah, exactly yeah, oh exactly. but now I'm going to hit you with the reasons to buy it Chris Okay, what are they? You have too much money. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> I like your jokes. <laughs> no, so I'm not. I'm not disparaging them. All of them could whoop my ass in designing video games, but I'm just saying it's Probably. not a good look, considering that Modern mm. Warfare Three original was a bit of a disappointment. If you like the original two, Modern Warfare True, One yeah. and Two were good. Sorry, Modern Warfare 1 and 2 were pinnacles. Modern Warfare 3 of the originals back in the day when we I were in high school. I don't know if I played Modern Warfare 1. 2 like, I it was did, good. 3 it was I good. did. It I played fine. the stories more than anything yeah. else. But, but like, it. no, it was like, it was, it was the game and you're like, that's oh, fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's not, it's not terrible. It's fine, it's fine. Actually, I think 3 was the first one I actually played multiplayer on. Good that's game. just because that's when... Mine was 2. I, was, I, I think it was with all my high school friends. Uh, I was borrowing my brother's game. Yeah, good times. Um, anyway, so like, as I said, uh, so there's already kind of like a, a thing where it's like, oh, Modern Warfare 3 was the worst of the original Modern Warfares. Now we're pretty much setting that up to be the same. Um, because okay. it's just not going to have the polish that the other two had. Yeah. And the fact that it started life as a DLC doesn't really fucking help. Right? It doesn't. But wait, there's, there's more. more. So they've added a new feature to the multiplayer called Aftermarket Parts. So, uh -huh. explain. When you get a gun, yes, and you level it up all the way, like I've done with all of the guns that I currently have in Modern Warfare Two, yes, you open a new option where you can get like aftermarket parts to change the function of the gun, pretty much. Okay. So it's like, That's... oh, you've got this new bit that does whatever. Kind I don't know. of what I was thinking, but it's sort of like Modern Warfare Two, how you can switch the receiver and change what the gun you've got is technically uh, okay yeah yeah um but they all i i don't really know how it's gonna work but it does bring its own level of problems because it's, some yeah, of these aftermarket parts 
And like from what I saw on the aftermarket parts, like one of them was like a burst wire pistol. Yes. And then like you get a three D printed like case to make it more a submachine gun. Mm, like it kind of looks. It, it looks like the shit you would get if you were ch- not in the army and just putting your guns together in a in a back shed. Um, I'm fine with that. I don't so really like zombie care. games. Yeah. All right, give me one second. Um, yeah, so it's like I don't, I don't hate the like it's the aesthetic. I don't hate uh, it's the reasoning. I don't hate the only thing that is I, I'm I'm really questioning about is pretty much this, right? Yeah. Some of these options, I'm taking off my hat because things are getting more serious. No, some of these options are shit. Like, um, so you get a challenge. So you don't yeah. even get it when you finish the gun. You get it, you unlock a challenge so that you okay. can unlock these parts. I mean, it keeps from people what I've in heard, the game by the sounds of it. Some of these challenges are weekly challenges. Oh, that's ridiculous. In other words, you can only do them on the week that they're available. I don't like that. What happens if you get the game after you've after this week has gone by? Well, you, you're locked out of getting that? No, don't worry. They've covered you there. They're going to put it on a different week. They're going to have other options. The the like the. I think it was a Twitter post or some shit that okay. I read. It was like, there will be other options. And I went, oh, oh. Other, the way that they said it... Now, I don't know if I'm just reading into this and going like, fucking Activision, but Sounds the like way that it said it... Us? Exactly. Yeah. They didn't say there will be a rotation, so these weeks will come back up. It'd be stupid if they did They said, we are looking into other means for you to unlock these challenges. Now, to me, that just screams, well, if you miss the week, don't want to drop a couple of bucks, man. It's yours. Or they're going to make it a ris- ridiculously stupid challenge that's not impossible to do, but very difficult. I don't even think it's that, because as I said, the, the wording they used was that we are looking in, there will be other possibilities to unlock this. And I'm like, if it wasn't going to be something that pissed off everyone before the games even come out, you would have just said what it was. If you miss the weekly thing, don't worry. It'll come around in a couple of months. You put that in there because people go, yeah. oh, okay, so that's that's fine. I'll just keep wait. You know, if I'll, I miss I'll it the wait. first yeah. time, it'll come around in a couple of months. You put it in there. That's not going to lose you any will. No. If it was going to be alternative challenges will be provided, you put that in there because, yes. you know. Because it makes sense. Exactly. Um, the only reason I can imagine to use such vague and roundabout languages is because you will be able to pay real money to unlock it in-game. Yeah. So you can either do it the challenge that is time-sensitive and will disappear, or you can just drop a stack of cash on it and it's yours. And honestly, it's the second one that I'm thinking why they've used such roundabout language, because... That's immediately going to piss off people because yeah, that's pay to win. Just like we had in Black Ops Four. Yeah, where that's oh, true. you just bought a better gun than everybody else. Excellent. Nice. So you know that, that's a that's a change they're doing. This, this puts just, me in the same point of, and it's the same point I've always been in. I don't really want to spend money on that game. I don't really want to spend money on any game that I paid one hundred and sixty dollars for. True. But are you going to spend more money on the next one? I don't know if I'm going to buy it. I, I am honest. I, I want the story. That's the only reason. Okay, I like fair, it. fair. I probably want the multiplayer. But you yeah. know what I really just want fucking out of my COD? Warzone. I don't want it. I don't want to install it. I don't want to be yeah. forced to install it. No, I agree. I it's don't hundreds like it. of gigs for something that I do not enjoy. I do not want. If I had an option to just get that and uninstall Warzone, I fucking would. Yeah. Because it's fucking great to not have to worry about that. And like what you told me they did in Modern Warfare 1? What, just uninstall my game and my multiplayer and be like, hey, but you got Warzone. I don't fucking want Warzone. Oh, yeah, but we got to save your space because Warzone's fucking massive. Yeah, I know. So let me get fucking rid of it. Yeah. Um, but no, hang on. But if, if all of that soured you to Modern Warfare 3, don't worry. Here's how we get you back. Do you remember the maps from Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3? You know, the really popular ones that everyone really liked? Well, they're getting remade. And they'll be in this game for you to play. Buy the game. It's going to have nostalgia. Buy nostalgia. So I don't like that because recently any other game I've seen that's done a, hey, we're remaking it or redoing it, revamping it, whatever. 
then you get back into it and it's like there are some similarities but it is no, not the same map the, the, these will be almost identical copies of the maps that people loved um, the okay. ones I've seen are like Afghan so remember the one where there was the plane crash right in the middle of it uh, yes yes uh, yeah. long long skinny map yep. um, they, they mentioned a few others I can't remember but the thing is these are going to be very yeah. lovingly crafted remakes of those maps for a specific reason and that is because with all the shit that I've read about this that's really the selling point remember how you like the old maps there they are play them have fun yeah yeah we didn't put them in any of the other games but buy this one because it has them quickly hurry do it I'm assuming they're going to put the one in there for with the the, the, the flashbang video that's actually in the games oh it is in the games now oh we can recreate it Dish is, Dish is in the game um, it was added a couple maybe the last season of Modern Warfare 2 okay like the last one that's just gone by because I've been playing on that map um and again, it's it's a re- it's a very good recreation of that map, but what the fuck are we doing, guys? Come on! Like, sure, yeah. we love playing old maps. Yeah, it brings up the nostalgia. It makes us feel good. It re- it's the I'll remember. Mm, true, but yeah, no, this feels like that they're, they're literally they, it, because they didn't do it with the other ones. Okay, like, yeah. literally, mo- the only remakes in Modern Warfare Two until season updates were remakes of the maps from Modern Warfare One. Nice. Why would you do that? Because there was one map that people really, really liked. Oh, and shipment, shipment, the shipment always gets added in eventually. Mm, true, yeah. But um, yeah. So they've added a few, but there's like this is oh yeah, it's gonna drop with nostalgic maps, so you don't have to wait till the next season for your favorite map to come. Back. And it's like yeah, but that's not a selling point. It's not a that's no. not a selling point. There What's are certain going games- to be good about this game. Well, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg to begin with, and then you can keep, keep paying money. Into so it. there are games that are good with, like, selling it at a nostalgia point. COD, no, it's not because of how often they drop a COD, and like, so a game that does, and well, we well, the two of us know it at the very least. Darcy has just started his playing of it. Spyro, that works as nostalgia because it's so long between those original games. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Um, well, as I said, my, my biggest thing with Spyro at the moment as I'm replaying it is I'm playing it, and even from my last play of the Reignited trilogy, it's been about three years. Yep. Um, so a lot of it is I'm like, oh, fuck, oh, hang on, that's right, there's something over here I've got to go get. Oh, wait, oh, I'm, I'm missing gems. Where the fuck am I? Ge- oh, wait, hang on, I've got to do this or do that or whatever, yeah, yeah. whatever, whatever. Yeah. But. So you're going through and collecting Nostalgia, all the gems? I, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. that's, that's the whole thing of that playthrough. I am going to complete all the games. So 100, 100%. Well, not 100% because it's like 112, 100 and something, 100 and something. Well, you sh- the way we should say 100% in that situation is trophy-wise. Yeah. Trophy-wise, because if you complete um, the 112 or whatever it is percent in the game, you've completed yeah, yeah. The, all I'm, the I'm going to get everything in each of the games because right. that's not too much of a hassle. Um, True. In fact, I think I'm averaging about 45 to an hour for, like, entire worlds. That's so pretty like good. That the, is that The is... Artisans, I did completely finished. Well, all... towards the end, I think it takes a bit longer, but... Um, I think so, but I don't even think there's not that a great many deal. more worlds. Um, and as I get yeah. back into it, I'm remembering more and more and more and more. Um, so it's... it's, so, it's, it's, yeah. it's so it's not actually like... going to take that much yeah. longer. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, yep. I actually do have to finish off the um, Peacekeepers world because unfortunately I was recording that today and when I got up to the final boss, I had no doubt. <laughs> ah, so fun. I literally have to finish that off um, t- tomorrow probably. Um, literally it's about 15 more minutes of filming <laughs> maximum. Was it one of these planned but no powers? No, no, it was because of the work they're doing next door. Ah, fair enough. Um, when I say next door, I mean literally in the room next door to where I am. Um, Fair. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, so Modern Warfare Three is going to have a bunch of nostalgic maps. Um, I'm not that excited no. about that. I'm I, not, am, I am. I am. I'm going to say. I think the last. Will you buy it? Yeah, probably. I probably will. Yeah. I hate everything about it, but I probably will buy it because I actually really like the story. It's got one of my favorite characters in his favorite in my like 
like Ghost, right? Everyone loves Ghost. Yeah. He was in the original Modern Warfare 2 and people were like, Ghost is so cool. But in the new Modern Warfare games, he is so much cooler than he was in the old ones. And he's just kind of like... I haven't a, really played the story yet, but from what I'm seeing... Yeah, no, I can agree. He's just a creepy badass, and I love that. Um, so, <laughs> and anything that continues that story, and I, and you know, Price, um, Farah, Gaz, so all oh. all of the team. I want to see more of their stories. So yes, I will probably end up getting it, um, and I'll probably enjoy the multiplayer to a point, which is pretty standard it's for COD anyway. Im- it's almost impossible for COD to fuck up their multiplayer. The only thing I hate is their money grubbing. I reckon they. But we away. gave you Warzone for free, so we need to make money. Get the fuck Warzone out of it. Warzone is shit. Yeah. I'm sorry for all of you people that are like battle royales are the best thing about gaming. Battle royales are the worst thing about gaming. They literally are. Everyone is trying to take Fortnite down, and you know what it means? It means we have a bunch of shitty Fortnite copies. Yeah. That are shitty, and Fortnite's not that good to begin with. It's just I don't know people if it's true, to but watch I did, it. I did see something the other day. It's like popped up as one of the. Here's a bit of news for you uh, about um, Fortnite. Mm. I, d- I doubt the whole game's going, but it's they were talking about a server shutting down. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, so there's this thing about Fortnite, right? And it's why everyone's like, "Oh, new games need battle royales," because the people who are saying this shit are streamers. Why? Because people like to watch battle royales because it's true oh, if you're a streamer there's always something happening in a battle royale true yeah um, and one you know it's, it's someone once described it as the one life mentality puts a lot more pressure on every single play true, true. whereas a multiplayer game where you can die repeat die repeat die live die spawn 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 die that's that's less entertaining to watch because there's less pressure on every action. True, true. But here's the thing about video games, and this goes out to the streamers, you know, how you doing? Um, video games may give you the opportunity to be a streamer and earn money. Yes. That's not their job. Their job is to be entertaining for the people who just want to play video games. The, the layman. Yeah. It's not the video game's job to make sure it's entertaining to watch. It is supposed to be entertaining to play. Yes. Some of the best games are boring as fuck to watch, but they're very entertaining to play. So same kind of thing with sports, right? Yeah. Um, name any game other than cricket, uh, because cricket is both boring to play and watch. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll give you that. <laughs> you know, most games are about a million times funner if you're playing them than watching them. I love basketball. I love watching basketball. You know what I love more than watching basketball? Playing basketball because it's about a million times more entertaining. Oh, it is. Um, and that's the same with video games. Also even vastly more than um, a million times more. So, for, you know, again, here's, here's the crazy thing, streamers, you know, because I'm just going to come out and I'm going to say it. It's not a video game's job to make sure when you're playing it, you're entertaining. That's your job. Yes. It's literally what you're being paid for. Be entertaining. And if you can only make that entertainment in a battle royale, I really worry for you when the market changes. Because the market did change. It changed to battle royales. It will change again to the next big thing. It's kind of how markets work. Popularity cycles. Battle royales are not going to be on top forever. It's unfortunate if that's what you do for a living. But you should... You, you really have to start looking at broadening your horizons. Well, the thing is, what they tend to do is they try to keep on top of it. Mm-hmm. So as soon as it does change, you will find a massive wave of change on well, they have to. Twitch, any other streaming site, really. Well, yeah, um, you have to. You can't yeah. not. Um, but, uh, well, but what I'm saying is that at the moment, everyone's going, oh, a game. If a game doesn't have a battle royale in it, is it even a game? It's like, yes. Yes, it's, a, it's what we call a good game most of the generally, time. Generally better do you know what games didn't have battle royales in them and a battle royale wouldn't make them better mm. god of war ragnarok oh yeah spyro the witcher 3 spyro you put a battle royale in spyro you think anyone's having any fun there no fucking go play spyro you fuckwits <laughs> so anyway as i was saying like that's the whole thing about battle royales that's why i really dislike warzone 
And that's why yeah. I don't think it actually has a place in Call of Duty. You want to play Warzone? Here's a crazy idea. Make it its own separate thing. Please. Please do. Here's Warzone. Here's Call of Duty. And I know they're going to put, like, DMZ in again. Right, please like put, put it with Warzone. Don't put it with the main game. DMZ is a worthless waste of time. Unless in the next one they change it so it is it is just PvE. But no, they won't because, again, yeah. it's, that's... I mean, I had heard of something that they were talking about it. I don't know if it's actually going to happen, but there was talk of it being a mode where the enemies are harder, there's a bunch of teams in there, but you can't kill each other. Okay, that would be, that like would be the good. ultimate thing, but because like that, that would give you a different game mode to Warzone, yeah. which is player versus player, you would have player versus environment. Which would be great. I would enjoy that, and I may consider getting it at that point. But anyway, yeah, it's... it's but, look, yeah. honestly, it's going to come out. I'm going to look at it. I want the campaign. I want the multiplayer, probably. Um, but it's... Yep. It, I, don't, I can't actually say whether or not I'm going to buy it at this point in time. Because... I suppose we wait for about a month after it comes out, maybe a couple of weeks. It's going to be ridiculously expensive. It's going to be about 160 bucks because that's what the games that are coming out these days are actually costing. The unfortunate thing is I don't think it's even going to be worth 160 No. I reckon it's going to be buggy because... Oh, of course it is. It's Sledgehammer, sorry, but it is. I think it's going to be rushed because yeah. it was a DLC, now it's a full game. They've had a year to work on it. And they've got to work on more than that in that time frame, so it's and not less than a year. I think that the adherence to a free-to-play money-making Warzone mode, which is what it is. That's the only reason it's free-to-play. Anyone who wants to argue with me, learn business. Um, mm-hmm. It's free-to-play because once you start playing, you go, well, I got it for free, so I might as well buy the season pass. And, oh, well, I'm running out of time to finish the season pass, so I might as well drop a little bit more money to get it. And, oh, well, there's a really nice skin, and it gives me an advantage in Warzone, so I might as well buy it. And uh, by this point, you've spent more than you would ever spend on the game. Um, so... Congratulations, they got you. It's cool business. Well done. Um, but yeah, I, honestly, I'm I'm at, at this point, I can say unequivocally, no, I'm not buying it because yeah. it's just got too many things against it. And I honestly don't think it's going to be that fun. I okay. don't think bringing the new maps, the, the old maps back is enough to warrant no. uh, over $100. Well, it doesn't drag me in. Like, don't get me wrong, I played a little bit of multiplayer on Modern Warfare 3, but it's... I rarely did it, so I don't... Yeah. Well, I remember some of the maps, but it was not to the extent that it's like, oh, I need the new, I need the game. Yeah, I, 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 no. I just... I, I, can't, I can't. I can't be bothered with it at the no. moment. And I, I'm literally... And like, yeah, as I said, like, they announced Modern Warfare 2, I was in. I didn't care at that point. Um, yeah. That's how much of a disappointment I found Modern Warfare 2. And... Like, there were elements I loved about one more for one, uh, Modern Warfare 2. The raids. The raids were really oh, they were good. I fun did enjoy them. little missions. They weren't anything groundbreaking. No. Let's, let's not pretend they were, like, groundbreaking things. They were okay. They were really what DMZ should have been aiming for. Yes. Well, DMZ, but... But that on steroids is what I want. Because you'd still want... You could do it that way, but if they... As I said, with the thing I mentioned, where there was going to be a, a X amount of teams in the map, but you can't kill each other, you can team up and work with each other, yeah. you'd want it, obviously, bigger. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, like so, said, yeah. Like that but either way, yes. It, PvE, I, I agree. With interesting mechanics that led to some interesting things. Um, that would be good. You know, that's, that's, that's it. Um... Yeah, it was just too much, and I'm just, I'm just like, I'm, there's no excitement for this game. It seems like uh, Activision last give us all the money before they get bought by Microsoft. Yep, that'll be it. Unfortunately. Um, speaking of Microsoft, yes. Have you heard about the new language rules and the banning and all of that kind of stuff? small parts of it. I haven't heard... So I haven't I, gone in depth with it, but I have I, I read... I haven't read up on it. 
Um, I've been told a bit about it, and I've read that the changes are happening as of October the 1st, which was a while ago now. Um, but pretty much, I read. I, I, I totally I so disagree with this. This is the stupidest thing ever. Well, from the amount I heard, I, I also disagree with it. I think it's a waste of, a waste of time. It's a waste of time. It's vindictive. It's, um, yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's it's not going to solve any issues. It's huh. just going to make everyone's life a little bit worse because there's always people out there who do this kind of shit and take advantage of it. Um, oh, yeah. You know, and honestly, if, I, if I'm being 100% honest, a little bit trash talk's fine. Yeah, of course it is. You know? Okay, well, yeah, in Call of Duty it goes too far, but you know who takes it too far? Fucking children. You shouldn't be playing the game in the first place. How about you oh, crack yeah. down on that? Microsoft, go fuck yourself. And the only downside to that is because if that child gets banned, they're generally on their parents' account. So the parent gets banned too. I mean, their parents' account, it's their account. How hard would that be, Microsoft giant tech company? Oh, I see you're on your account and it says that you're 15. This is an R-rated game. You can't play. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck your rule. I don't like it. I think yeah. it's a waste of everyone's time. I think it's just another way to give fucking little babies a reason to complain about shit. Um, oh, it is. And, and uh, let's be true and uh, real about this. It's the little babies that start shit. And then you slap them down with a little bit of real talk. And then they complain and you get banned and Xbox go, Oh, you said some offensive language you called them an idiot I'm sorry but you weren't there talking to them they were an idiot they're pretty fucking stupid <laughs> now, they, they should be lucky I didn't call them more things um, so, so what was the exact thing that they were saying that or what you read anyway uh, basically if in a bit like you'll be able to like you can now record in game stuff okay yeah and the people that are saying shit uh, even if it's like you, you can post it and they'll get banned um, from in-game chat and shit. So you know, eh, man, yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, I hate it. And you can yeah, you can use that to fucking get rid of people and ban people and all that kind of shit. And it's like, fuck, man. And and Microsoft have run into issues with this before. Um, I believe I told you on the weekend the story about the guy that lived in like Fort Gay or something, and he tried to put oh, that as yeah, his yeah. home address, and they were like that's derogatory and he went that's where I live and they went oh no 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 you're trying to be silly and he went no I'm not no I'm not and they went oh you think you're asthma no I don't I'm just fucking... a, there, there are a lot of places in the world like that oh there's with a lot. names that unfortunately a lot of um, companies would say no to yeah I just I, 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 I example honest, one for gay there's, there's quite I, a few can't get behind anything where they're doing that. Like, okay, wasn't I, there a uh, wasn't there a um, a Top Gear or Gr- Grand Tour episode where they were aiming for those places purposely? Yeah, they they were going from kissing to wanking to wedding to fuck. Yeah. Um. No, maybe it was fuck to wedding. I can't remember. But um, I think that would make a bit of sense as well. Yeah. Lo- long long story short, um, this is not the way to go about cleaning up. No. Uh, derogatory language and all of that in games um, a good way to do it is to remove the 12 year olds from games like Call of Duty because yeah. that's where most of your toxicity lies yes there are older players who are toxic um, but unfortunately they're probably the ones that I think, started with that and just kept going Yeah, I, but I think there also comes a thing where it's kind of like I don't know about you Chris but I just do it personally if I'm in a game with someone who's being toxic, I mute them. I just mute them and don't listen to them. Because I'm an adult, and I can make up my own mind whether or not I want to hear shit. To be honest, most games I don't go in to be able to hear the um, game chat. Because in most cases, I don't want to hear it. Yeah. But, but, you know, that's fine. As, but my whole thing is, like, as an adult, I make that conscious decision and go, hmm, this game seems a bit toxic. Just mute all the fucking retards. It's pretty simple. They're done. Don't have to listen to them anymore. They can scream and yell and do whatever they want. They're only screaming and yelling yeah. at themselves. Well, and then the other thing is when I'm playing that type of game, I'm generally playing it with other people. Yeah. 
exactly. I'm in a party, game checks automatically turned off. Exactly. So, so I don't um, really I, run I don't, into it I, much. I, I don't. I don't think. Um, I don't think this is the right way to go about it. I don't think there's anything clever about what they're doing. I think it's just going to lead to a lot of pissed off people. Um, yeah. Kind of, if you want to shoot yourself in the foot, Microsoft, you've gone about it the right way. Um, oh, they have. Yeah, that's about all I can say to that because yeah, I just I, I fully disagree with everything they're doing, and I just think what the fuck, Microsoft, come on. There are far there are, better ways. There are better ways to do this. There are better ways to do this. Okay, yeah. and no matter what you say, right? I don't, you know, all but you know, racist derogatory language. You're right. We don't want that in video games. But this isn't the way to go about cleaning that up. Um, no. That actually starts before the video games in the person's lifestyle where we, you know, start being like, you know, eh, that's not okay to say. No, it's not. Like, you know? And, and if you say that and you get the kick, shit kicked out of you, ain't no one going to feel bad for you. And let's, and let's look at it. There can be a friend group yeah. with all different ethnicities ethnicities in it mm-hmm. and they all talk shit to each other and I if, if you, a random... I love the way you pose that as like a um, it could happen it does because happen. it's such a it's such a Rockhampton way of thinking you know? I didn't mean to say Chris, could Chris the Rockhamptoner goes like all of my friends are white but I've heard I've heard <laughs> people can be friends with people who aren't white no no I wasn't okay, I wasn't <laughs> trying to phrase that okay. so there are I've friends. heard there... I've heard on the grapevine that you don't have to just be friends with people who look like you. I have friends. I have friends. I'm not... <laughs> well, I, I have, have friends. friends. I have all friends of all different ethnicities. It's lying. The main group is as Darcy said that. Um, but what I mean by it is, there is a lot of talk in those where they're talking shit and being what if a random person was to join a chat with them. It would seem extremely racist, but to them, it's all no, no. It's a joke. Well, it's nothing it's, it's, wrong with it. It's not even that. Like, so it's like it's like don't. You could be having inside jokes with your friends, right? Yes. And then one of your friends brings on one of their friends. And then one of their friends gets offended because they just don't, they don't know everyone. That is true. So what is well, just a bunch of people messing around, having fun, and being stupid becomes an issue because someone who's too tightly wound takes offense. And, well, and that's the truth. If you know, if if you can tell that there is actually no ill will, but what they're saying could be offensive to someone, then you are the issue. Well, so uh, my ex brother in law, okay, <laughs> he joined a party chat with us once, and everyone. This is how they always, the chats always go. But when everyone walked away. Because someone was going to the toilet, someone was grabbing a drink, whatever, it doesn't matter. But it ended up being just the two of us sitting there, and he's like, if my friends were talking to me that way, I would be getting in my car, driving to their place, and punching them in the face. Yes. I, this yeah. is bad. Too tightly wound. Yes. But again, like, I'm not going to lie, um, yeah, you guys have in the past, and constantly still do, say some shit that is whack. Um, <laughs> it does especially happen. the one that has been excommunicated yeah. um, because he is still a 14 year old child even though he's almost 30 yep hey um, but yeah like, like I just as I said I just don't agree with it there are better ways to go about this and um, honestly 90% of the people who call Wolf are the actual problem um, yeah Yes, I will say there is 10% of super toxic, we don't want it at all, you know, you're not just joking around, you are actually serious and we want you gone level, but mm, I'm going to come out and say most of it is someone who is just too tightly wound and too easily offended. Yep. And if that offends you, that's you. Oh, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so like, you know, there's that. Uh, I, just, I, as I, said, I just think there are better ways to go about it and I think that... Banning this type of language doesn't solve any problems. It just forces it underground. And when we force it underground, instead of being able to, you know, address it and be like, hey, don't be a dick, you end up with a bunch of people who think alike coming together and then you end up with... Well, everything gets Shit organisations. Yes. Um, But yeah, so anyway, that's that. I think that's enough on that because that's just kind of... that's. That's It's stupid. It won't work. 
well done Microsoft you've done something redundant um, as, as we said games will just have discord servers now where you can go and swear and scream and yell and call people dumb fucks if Microsoft yeah. won't let you do it someone else will and that's where the party will be yes um, especially since they recently added discord to everything indeed um, what else uh, well yeah that's, I, that's 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 kind of it on that yeah um, so uh, whether or not it's in this video earlier Chris did mention something about my crazy schemes uh, which if you don't know is more than likely a reference to last week where I told him about the world's healthiest drink and it's close running counterpart I don't know like wait what the world's healthiest I, I remember the world's healthiest drink I'm trying to remember what the hell I said uh you said you have crazy schemes and i said oh, more about them later i don't think schemes was my word yeah something along those lines it doesn't really matter it was to do with stuff you said ah yeah that's right your outlandish ideas outlandish that's ideas, the one said, right? which of course as i said is in reference to the fact that i once said water is the world's healthiest drink followed closely by vodka and coke zero and chris thinks that's outlandish but let me tell you right a week ago i said that to chris in a week in a week of well pretty much replacing most of what i drink which isn't water because i'm still drinking water yes, but like course. everything else with coke zero and vodka this guy lost two kilos of fat oh nicely just fat. done just that <laughs> kept the muscle on gained some muscle oh hell yeah uh, so i think if, if I'm counting my chickens right, you may have made a point. That's not out. That's not an outlandish idea. That's a dieting revolution. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll um, give it to. I wasn't disagreeing with it. I'm a genius. Um, I never really disagreed with it. Oh, also, I, I was yes, just saying it wasn't that. So, healthy. Chris, you know how I'm a really good driver, like really good, pretty good, mostly. Oh, you know how I'm better than you, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, well, I was thinking about some dirt tracks that I know. Okay. they got nice sweeping curves. Pretty good for rally driving, as yeah. you would. And I'm um, taking my car. No, that's the point. We're taking your car. No. I need to borrow your car so I can practice my rally driving. No. No, but I need to take your car so I can practice my rally driving. Into a tree? Oh, no, I don't want to die. Oh, you Tuck and roll. Maybe into a river. Oh, yeah, fair point. Water soft. <laughs> no, <laughs> not initially. No. Um, no, but, like, yeah, no, seriously, you should just, like, run me your car sometime so I can go do some rally driving. Oh. But, Chris, they're dirt tracks. If we ever get, if I ever get to a point where I get a better car... Sorry, I just had a thought about the dirt tracks, because I, 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 was, I was remembering okay. one. Right? One of these dirt tracks... The last speed sign you see before you end up on it says 80, right? Yes. Because literally it's like double double lane highway before this track. Yes. Now the rule in Australia is the last, unless it's like a paved no fucking lines road, which has a speed limit set to that type of road. Yes. Uh, the last speed sign you saw is the sign that you abide by. Correct, yes. So mine you see 80 then you go into this tiny little dirt track that has a lot of windy parts technically the speed limit on that dirt track with all the little windy parts is 80 even though that's very dangerous and it stops it's at a it's... school <laughs> <laughs> what i didn't design the track i just want to rally drive on it because apparently it has a speed limit of 80 kilometers now so again a nice curving fence if i ever get to a point <clears throat> Where I get a better car, and this becomes a car that I don't care yeah, about, that's, that's, then I may let you That's use a good it. point. If you ever do get your Lamborghini, I'll go rally driving in that. No, no. <laughs> that's even worse. Chris, just let me rally drive your cars, okay? Oh. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? My cars get destroyed. Well, fire explosion is the correct answer. <laughs> what? Yeah. They well, get destroyed. <laughs> no, it's not, actually. The correct answer is a meteor strike that wipes out the, incre the entire human race. Actually, that's not. Well, that's just that's just, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. 
Worst thing is the inevitable heat death of the universe. Oh, yes, that's the rough one. Because you can't outrun that, motherfucker. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, so, yeah, no, Chris, I think you should let me, just, you know, come on, let me do it. No, come on, just, just let me know you can't. Yeah. I know I'm good dirt tracks. Oh. I know I'm good with dirt tracks. Maybe if we, like, get a burner, like, a burner car. Just get one where we can just go with Brad. What are we, criminals? Who's gonna burn cars now, are we? At the end. Fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, everything else is gonna be legal, except for the rally driving and the burning of the car. Yeah. <laughs> That's most of it. <laughs> oh, no, I meant getting the car and everything's gonna be legal. Oh. Okay. Hey, okay. <laughs> we purchased this car legally, so I think all the rally driving we did in this perfectly fine. One hundred percent. Oh, what? <laughs> hey, look, look! It's one less charge you get against you. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, no. Right. Um, other than that, you know, I think to kind of wrap it up, I just thought we I mentioned, you know, the crazy weekend we had last weekend. Me, me oh, and Chris. Yeah. So I've I've taken up a new thing, which is Friday night drinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's going great. Oh, um, when isn't it great? But yeah, so last weekend um, I went out drinking on Friday. Uh, stayed out till like three in the morning, and then taught some, uh, theology the next day. Oh, that was fun. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of very hard to talk someone through uh, what leads full adults to have existential crises when you are less like i could i really need a, I, I need a nap i really could use a nap <laughs> yeah. i had like four and a half hours sleep last night oh we're talking about the ever-expanding nature of the universe excellent i love that i love that's great hey um, look at least in that situation you're more focused on the fact that you want a nap so you're not going to go through the crisis <laughs> um but yeah and then you know that happened and then you know i got invited out by uh, him and his landlord and our friend yep. and uh so you know i was like yeah okay whatever i took some board games around we're gonna play some board games we played some among us you know normal guy things uh but then we were also taken to a pub now this pub oh yes uh this pub was um well honestly when we arrived there it wouldn't have been surprising to see a murder happening yeah no that's fair um, yeah i was, get that um on a very dark street with a lot of um I guess you would call them ramshackled buildings with around it. Um, yep. It's kind of not a great place to go. Look, you looked Saturday across night. the road and you looked at, at the windows across the road and it was either boarded up or had bars on it. It was one yeah, of the two. Yeah, you know, it's not good when you walk in and, like, <laughs> most of the buildings are boarded up. That's not a very good sign. Um, anyway, so then we go into this <laughs> pub and, you know, it's a little bit grim. Um, the lighting's not great. Um, but there's a lot of grimness. Uh, there's probably about 12 people, including the four of us in the whole building. So that's great as well. And the uh, three workers? I saw four workers. They're... Yes, you're right. There were four. Um, so, yeah. So, like, a quarter, a good quarter of the people who were there were working there. Um, and it has a bit of a reputation that they knew about going there. But I think what really sells this... Um, and, and why I think it connected so well with our friend Jordan is that the largest room in the entire place <laughs> was a pokies room. It was a pokies Like, room. literally, it was like the bar, the main bar, where you drink at this pub, was like, if someone was sitting at the bar, you might have to, like, shimmy between them and the wall. Um, or them and the table. It was pretty tight. Like, yeah, it, it, was, was, it, was, it was incredibly tight. Then you walk into the pokies room and it's like, oh yeah, you, you, well, we're so glad we saved space in there because this thing was huge. It's like the pokies room in a casino. Not quite that big, but... It was, it was massive. It's like, the Rockhampton equivalent. Every, every other room in this place could be combined and I don't think it would be as large as this room. And I was just like, oh, no. Jordan, you have such a problem. <laughs> <laughs> the food was good. It was, it was. It was good. Um... Pep sauce was... The drinks were a little bit iffy. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not a big fan of... Well, I don't know if you noticed when they were pouring your drinks, but to get dry, they literally had to take cans out of cans the fridge. Cans of ginger ale, yeah, I did notice <laughs> that. That was a little bit... I was like, ooh, that's not a good sign. 
And yeah, as I said, this place has a really, really terrible Actually, reputation. There are quite so a few I, places at the end of the day, that. I just kind of went, um, why didn't we come here? <laughs> yeah, it was and then we left there, and we went home and played some coup, and it was a crazy, crazy night for crazy, crazy moves. Oh, yes. And then we played some Among Us and made someone and our friend. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> and then immediately betrayed them. Not that we were evil. We, we just were like... We were going in just to mess around. We weren't there to Technically, be what we did was um, go in and then be like, it's not this person. And then vote for them. And then the next time, we be like, oh, it's totally this person. We're like, wait, wait, did you just... Did you... <laughs> my you... personal favourite, my personal oh, favourite yes. was um, one of our earlier games. I was playing and the person playing next to me was an imposter and they killed someone and it got immediately reported but no one knew it was them somehow somehow yeah i don't know that so was weird because i could see it because where i was sitting so what i did what i did which was hilariously funny for me was i went i know who did it and everyone's like who did it who did it who did it because i was act, I, I did actually see them do it on their screen and i was standing in the room next to them when they did it and i was just like it was, and then I just named one of the other traders because obviously my trader friend could see them. Yep. My sorry, my imposter friend could see them, so I just named them. They're like bullshit, bu- bullshit, and I was like, <laughs> this person is fucking having a freak out because I've just named them for no fucking. They know I'm not an imposter. They just, they, they, I know, I know who they are, and they're having a fucking freak out about it. Oh, and yeah. I was like, but the funniest thing for me was I was just like he can't kill me now because I've called him out and then fucking Jordan killed me anyway <laughs> and goes whoops I didn't know it was which you. is weird because he didn't even get voted out for the na- in that <laughs> round which was like you you oh. were gunning for him and he was defending himself to his last breath and then you died oh yeah absolutely. in the next round it's like Oh wow, he killed him to silence him. It's it's right there, but yeah. no, no one did anything. It was, yeah. it but, was hilarious. Like, like that was uh, yeah. well, people who play Among Us are stupid. But um, <laughs> my so that was my favorite part involving me. My yes. second favorite part that so my favorite part that didn't involve me because obviously my favorite part involves me. Yes. Um, was Caleb and Jordan. <laughs> I did oh. it. I'm the traitor. Wait, are you actually the trader? Yes, it was me. And then about five seconds before they get kicked out. Wait, no, I've changed my mind <laughs> as an innocent person. Guess what happened? Every motherfucker voted for him. <laughs> but it was just the beautiful part of, oh, wait, no, I've actually, I've changed, I've changed my mind, guys. <laughs> no, don't, don't do it. And then I just enjoyed those words. It was not an imposter. <laughs> Oh, it was very As funny. A, we were we were not there to help. We in were, the and, and it was oh, so much fun. I think I think my second favorite part was um, just the fact that I just at one point I just started naming people as traders. You did. You I did. was like, oh yeah, this person's a trader. They're like, I'm not a trader. I'm like, mm, no, you're a trader. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> they die and they're not a trader. It's like, oh well. And then the next time, yeah, this person's a trader. Well, actually, early in the day when you weren't there. Um, all I did is, it's because I basically, while in the cafeteria, started, and I got engineer every time I went, mm. so the first thing I did is went and just vented. That's what you do. In in the hopes that someone would just be like, either he's an engineer, or he's stupid. Yeah. Um, obviously engineer in this case, but I just, any time I needed to get anywhere, it was straight into a vent while people were watching and there was no other way of doing it it was just yeah it was um, fun well anyway guys um we've got a lot of shit to do Good. um so i'm gonna call that a day um and you finished your drink i have finished my drink so that's a double win for me yeah um we got shit to do yeah, we, we got do. shit to do this one might actually be around about the hour mark I think um, it will, actually, yeah. So, uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking, showing a mate. That's called sharing. Yeah, uh, yes. Leaving a comment. I might read it. I might not. If I do read it, I might respond to it. I might not. I'm very lazy. But when the Discord's uh, up, we've got that. Or, if you can find it within your heart, give us a subscription. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, I've been Darcy. He's been Chris. Um, yeah. Thank you.
Yeah, goodbye. See ya. Especially my statements where... <laughs> where they're outlandish sometimes. We'll just talk about that. <laughs> fucking owl. I hit my ring with the tip of my fucking finger. <laughs> oh, that's the fucking worst. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat>